guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you enjoy content on luxury goods, handbags, shoes, experiences, um, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe. If you are returning, thank you so much. It means so much to me and I'm so sorry that it's taken me forever and a day to put out a new video. Um, life's gotten in the way and things have gotten a little bit busy, but I'm back and I have been shopping. So I do have a few videos upcoming to share with you and some exciting stuff. So please subscribe so you can see what those are. So today, just doing a quick video with you guys for my new Goyard Plummet crossbody wallet bag. I'm gonna call it a bag. I think officially it's called a wallet, but um, either way, I was looking for something small and compact, something that would be perfect size for venues and events when it can only be um, a certain length and, and width. Um, typically, a lot of sporting events, you'll see it has to be under eight by five or eight and a half by five and a half, something like that. So I was looking for something smaller. I will say the Louis Vuitton wristlet, a little too big. I got caught with that once and had to put it in my car. Um, something that I could carry my phone, my keys, my wallet with, um, something that would be great for travel, something that's just a good grab and go bag for when I'm just running out and getting groceries. Crossbody is great for that. So um, I went into the Goyard store a couple of weeks ago and I picked up this beauty, which I'm absolutely in love with. I highly, 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 highly recommend this bag. If you are looking for a crossbody um, that will hold its value, that you can just use on a daily basis, that is casual enough to go with at leisure or whatever you're wearing, you don't have to dress up, it's nothing fancy, um, but at the same time, it is more elevated, it's stylish, and I just love it and I think it's perfect. Um, so let me go through and tell you a couple things about the bag itself. It has this back pocket this is the only one that's large enough to hold my iPhone 12 Max. Um, I would show you, but I'm filming with it. Um, so I can't slide it in there right now, but it fits in the back pocket perfectly. Um, this lays against my body, so I feel really good about putting my phone in there and I feel like it's really secure in there. I have no worries or, or hesitations when I do that. You can also see on the side of the bag, it's split up into three different sections. So when you open the bag here, you've got a couple options. You have your back pocket, you have the middle zipper and you have a front pocket. The back and the front pocket are pretty much exactly the same size. They each have their own card holder, um, which is really convenient. I'm going to show you, I actually got the matching card holder to go with it, um, just because I didn't have something like a small card holder like this, that's just great for, you know, travel or on the go or when I don't need like everything with me, I just think this is awesome. And to have a zipper compartment, I have some cash in here. You could stick coins in there. Um, I still have the protective coating on the zipper. I'll pull that off eventually. I'm, I'm actually not one to normally leave stickers or, or coatings on, but for some reason I've left that one on the last few weeks. Um, anyways, you definitely do not need the card case, but I needed a card case that was nice and small and that was able to, um, be light and good for on the go. So I ended up getting the matching one, but you don't need it. You've got one for an IUD and then another one for a credit card and you can keep all of your cash and change in the middle. Um, my keys are pretty bulky. You can see right here, these fit in perfectly in the front pocket. Um, I'll still have room in here if I wanted to throw in a chapstick or a small hand sanitizer or um, the other day I went to the gym. This is great size to just throw in a locker and lock it up at the gym. So you could bring this. I had my AirPods case in here, my phone, my wallet, everything that I would need, right? Um, it has this gorgeous and lovely canvas interior that, um, you, you, you know, I, I would still be careful with it. It could definitely, if, if it got lipstick on it or something like that, it's not like leather where I could just wipe it off, but it also feels pretty durable and pretty much like if I had to scrub something out, I definitely could. Um, it's got this nice snap closure. You could see that the metal hardware on this is silver toned. I actually really like that. Um, I like having a balance of bags in my collection with gold tone hardware and silver tone. I think the silver looks really nice on this bag. Um, I had personally really wanted this particular canvas pattern. Um, because I just feel like whether I'm wearing blacks, browns, actually, I, I won't even go through all the colors because I think it would be hard to imagine a color that this wouldn't go very good with that I typically wear. Um, so it's a perfect colorway for me. I also, this same uh, canvas comes with black leather lining or piping, I should say. Um, I like the brown more just because I feel like it, 
I, you know, I'm in Texas. The weather's nice here a lot of the years. I feel like it lightens it up a little bit. Um, but I think the black one's gorgeous also. And I think that if you're someone who maybe doesn't wear so much black, that the black against that would look really pretty. So um, they do have this with black also, but they have it in a ton more color colorways. Um, they have a nice like white color, a navy, a blue, an orange, like really beautiful colors. And I feel like with small bags, if you wanted to get one or if there was one with a pop of color that really caught your eye, I feel like it's a great one to go towards just because um, it's smaller and I feel like you could definitely pull it off and pull it off rather easily and still have it go with a lot that's in your closet. Um, with the strap itself, you cannot adjust it to be different sizes. Some people might say that's a downfall. For me, I think the strap is just absolutely perfect. Um, I'm 5'6", I could wear this cross body, I could throw it over one shoulder. Um, I, I think it's really, really, really convenient. I will say this when I was in there shopping for it. Also, um, the sales associate who I was working with, lovely, lovely person. Um, he was mentioning to me that I could also get another canvas strap if I wanted to change the look. Um, they didn't have the one with the, the black canvas with the, and not this canvas, like an actual canvas strap. Think like the Louis Vuitton Cousin strap, how that's canvas. Um, the canvas strap with the, they had the black leather, not the brown leather, but they could have ordered it. Um, in all honesty, I think the strap is fine and perfect. Um, it might be something that I look into if I decide like I want some more versatility with the bag, but um, I just think this is great as is. Um, the other reason I love this so much is we are going on vacation soon. I typically use my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the GM size for my travel bag and my carry bag on the plane, this will fit perfectly in it. So I I won't carry that around on vacation when we go to dinner at night or something like that. Um, I like having a small, I wanna call this a travel bag like this. And like I said, anytime you go to a sporting event, festival, concert, like this is such a great bag to just have and go and grab. Um, and I feel like it's so different. Some of you might not say that. I know the Goyard prints all over social media, but um, I, I like this bag in particular. I love this print. I really, I, I, I don't think there's a small crossbody that I can recommend more than this. I think price-wise, it's very economical compared to if you're looking at other brands like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. Chanel's hard, you know, I, I, their wallet on a chain, I have one, I'll do a review video on it. Um, but it's an elevated look. It's not something I'm going to grab if I'm wearing leggings and a sweatshirt or sand, you know, just something really casual and easy. Whereas this is, I feel like this is just the perfect casual, easy, everyday. Um, whether I'm wearing jeans and a sweater, I think this will look nice. Or if I'm wearing, like I said, leggings and a t-shirt, this will be perfectly fine and doesn't look out of place with my outfit. Um, so I highly recommend it. There are six Goyard stores in the US. So I know it's hard to, uh, potentially where you live, hard to get to a store, get in there, see what you like, see it in person. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this video for you today. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment on them down below. But one thing, and I haven't done this myself, so don't quote me on this, but if you go onto the website, I read that there is actually a place that you can put in a request for an item. So if you're not close to a store, you could potentially still order the item. I don't know if they would send you a form um, to then enter you know, uh, uh, payment details or anything like that or exactly what that looks like or how that works. I imagine that's what the case is. But I read from people who aren't in the vicinity that they've been able to get their hands on bags just by reaching out to the company with exactly what they want. Um, of course, you know, you lose being able to go in there and get a good feel of, you know, what would be right for you. But hopefully that's what these YouTube videos are, are great for, right? Um, so if you are in the market for a small, easy grab and go crossbody, um, especially, you know, comparing to what I'm seeing a lot of nowadays, you know, Louis Vuitton, um, Felice, Felice, um, that bag or some of their smaller bags or, um, you know, the Chanel Wild on change is just, it's just a different category. I wouldn't call it casual like this. I just think this is a great, perfect one to go to and that you don't see everyone wearing every day, um, which I really enjoy. So I hope this was helpful. Like I said, if you have any questions, just um, include those down below. And like I said, I've been doing some shopping. So if you wanna see what I have gotten recently, please subscribe and they will be in a video coming at you soon. Thanks.